This is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. So before I get into this cook, I have a gripe. Who is the person that named these ribs? Party ribs. Yesterday, when I was making this video, my wife asked me what was I cooking? I told her party ribs. Here, next question was party. Are we having a party? And you forgot to tell me. I said no, but some TikTok person decided to cook ribs hot and fast. But instead of calling them hot and fast ribs, he called them party ribs. These ribs are fall off the bone good, but hopefully not fall off the wagon good. Let's keep things civilized, shall we? So, on with the cook. Here are two racks of baby back ribs. Remove them from their packaging and then remove the membrane. I finally devised a way for you to take the membrane off in one piece. Get a dull knife and go to the middle of the rack. Start lifting the membrane until you can get your finger underneath it. Keep lifting until you reach across the middle of the rack. Now, pull up and lift one side, then lift the other. Works every time. With membrane gone, put the racks into a large foil pan. Now it is time to add the rub. This time I am using Kinder's, the blend, salt, pepper, and garlic. Also by using the pan, you can make sure the rub gets on the ribs and does not get all over the kitchen. The blend is a simple yet effective creation. A perfect recipe of just three key ingredients. High quality salt. This forms the base, enhancing the natural flavors of everything else. Coarsely cracked black pepper. The larger grind adds a pleasant bite without overpowering the dish. Real dried garlic bits. These bring a savory and aromatic essence with a delightful crunch. I have become so preoccupied with the party that I have forgotten a crucial step. You need to cut the ribs into single ribs and then put them back into the pan to distribute the rub on the ribs evenly. Also, cutting the ribs before cooking is supposed to allow them to cook quicker. A whole rack of ribs looks impressive, but it takes a long time to cook all the way through, especially if you want that crispy goodness on the outside. Think about it this way. Heat needs to travel from the outside of the rack inwards to cook the meat. With a whole rack, that's a long journey. But when we cut those babies into individual ribs, we've dramatically increased the surface area. Now heat can reach all sides of the meat much faster. This means shorter cook times and perfectly cooked ribs throughout. No more waiting for the center to catch up. We have already set the smoker temperature at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we add a pan of water to moisten the cook and catch any drippings, making it easier to clean the smoker when we are done. Now we add the pan full of seasoned ribs and let the smoker do what it does best, smoke and cook the ribs. I almost forgot. I now need to insert the temperature probe into one of the meteor ribs so we can monitor the temperature and know when the ribs are done. The Pit Boss 1250 Platinum includes a convenient opening that allows the probe to access the cooking area without interfering with the hood or pinching any probe cables. Now we allow the smoker to work its magic while we patiently wait for the rib temperature to reach 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Oops! I bought this pan with side handles and they caught on the hood as I lifted it. Lesson learned. Do not buy foil pans with handles. Now it's time to apply the sauce or glaze. I'm using Kinder's Honey Hot Sauce for this step. Because it's not very thick, you can easily brush it on, coating each rib with a nice layer of flavor without overloading them. The goal is for the sauce to complement the rib's natural taste, not overpower them like some thicker sauces tend to do.
Kinder's Honey Hot Barbecue Sauce is a sweet and smoky sauce with a touch of heat. Here's a breakdown of the sauce. Sweetness. Honey and brown sugar add a noticeable sweetness to the sauce. Smoke. Natural smoke flavor gives it a subtle smokiness, reminiscent of barbecue. Heat. The sauce has a mild kick of heat from jalapenos. Reviews suggest it's not very spicy, even for people with a low spice tolerance. Tomato base. The base of the sauce is tomato puree, giving it a tangy quality. Consistency. It has a slightly sticky consistency, perfect for clinging to wings, ribs, burgers, or whatever you choose to dip or drizzle it on. Ingredients. Kinder's prides itself on using high quality ingredients with no high fructose corn syrup or artificial flavors. Overall, Kinder's Honey Hot Sauce sounds like a versatile sauce that would be a good choice for anyone looking for a sweet and smoky barbecue sauce with a hint of heat. Please note that I use a silicon sauce brush with a very long handle. This way, you don't have to wear insulated gloves to apply the sauce. Since the ribs stalled, I decided to wrap them in foil. Because they're already cut and in a pan, I opted to simply foil the pan itself. Here are the three main reasons to foil. Faster cooking. Foil acts as an insulator, trapping heat and moisture around the meat. This can significantly shorten cook times. Increased moisture. Foiling helps retain moisture in the meat preventing it from drying out during the long cooking process. This leads to juicier and more tender barbecue. Improved flavor. Some argue that foiling allows for better penetration of rubs and marinades as the juices and flavors circulate within the wrapped environment. The ribs are done when the internal meat temperature hits 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let the ribs rest for about 10 minutes and then serve. Let's review this party rib cook. We cooked these ribs at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. The total cooking time was two hours and 20 minutes. That time was based on pulling the ribs when the internal meat temperature reached 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Party ribs are a fantastic option for delicious and crowd-pleasing ribs. Here's a breakdown of the key takeaways. Flavorful and fast. Cutting the ribs into individual pieces allows for quicker cooking and ensures each bite packs a punch of flavor from the rub or sauce. Easy to serve. Individual ribs are perfect for finger food and eliminate the need for messy cutting at the table. Great for a crowd. The bite-sized portions are perfect for parties and potlucks, allowing everyone to grab and enjoy easily. Overall, party ribs are a winner. They're delicious, convenient, and perfect for feeding a crowd. I also want to compliment the smoker. The Pit Boss 1250 Platinum was rock solid at holding temperature. Also, the meat probe was accurate to plus or minus one degree when compared to my Thermoworks One thermometer. In addition, the ribs still had a pleasant smoky taste, even though we cooked at a higher temperature, which normally reduces the ability to generate smoke. I did have two issues. First, you cannot cook these ribs in an hour and get high quality results. I cooked at 275 Fahrenheit, and it still took 2 hours and 20 minutes to get the tug off the bone we all expect when eating ribs. Second, ribs have a more crispy texture that I am not used to. I also have heard that other people like crispness, so I leave that to personal preference. So here is what the perfect tug off the bone looks like, and they tasted as good as they looked. Until next time.